Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. It's the first day of spring. Let's repeat the Ron Paul Crime Stoppers chant. I promise to bring a video camera to every event where Ron Paul speaks. I promise to bring a video camera every time I go vote. I promise to authenticate and verify the vote. I promise to sign affidavits that say this was fraud when I'm aware of fraud. I promise to uphold the Constitution. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> so much going on. I'm telling you, it's the greatest thing. The mainstream media not covering the fraud, and the fact that there's so much fraud is the greatest thing. Look what happened just recently in Missouri, and what's going to be happening in other states, where people show up in droves, thousands, 5,000 people show up, 3,000 people show up, 4,000 people show up in blue states for Ron Paul, quote-unquote blue states, right, up there in the north, in Michigan, and Illinois, and all these other places, where, you know, thousands of people are showing up for Ron Paul, they cannot find a single video where thousands of people show up for Omni, or even hundreds of people show up for Santorum, or even hundreds of people that show up for, for Gingrich. You know, show me a place where there's 5,000 people for uh, Santorum or Omni. There isn't one. Ron Paul is dry, driving, dry, drawing crowds this size all over the United States, and yet he's in third place. It's the greatest thing, I'm telling you. The fact that the, that the mainstream media now they just blatantly lie about how many delegates he has. It's great. Because even if he only had three delegates in each state, it's more than 44. And we know he picked up 21 here and 14 there. And uh, Anyway, if you just do a little math, you can see that their vote count uh, for... Uh, they can't even count the delegates now. Uh, and it's true, it hasn't, many of them haven't been decided. But Ron Paul has a whole lot more. Now there, it's going to be great. Because they can say what they want. They can say whatever they want. But when it comes time for the Ron Paul guys to stand up and be counted, you're going to see that it's a whole lot more than 44. A whole lot more than 44. Um, and I'm just talking about this latest interview. He was on MSNBC. But you'll see the links. Ron Paul talking about you and me are the ones that have to handle the vote fraud, not him. It's like I've been saying for video after video. It's like I'm tired of making these I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of making these videos because I just basically say the same thing each time. I mean, there's new news, but it's the same thing. Authenticate and verify. Get out there and do whatever you can, right? Small drops working together. And it, don't f fall for all these foolish things uh, where, you know, they're trying to get you to get distracted and look forward to the, 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 I mean, right, take your eye off the prize and, you know, you're looking up there when you should be keeping your eye, you know, nose to the grindstone looking down here at what's going on. What's going on is Ron Paul hasn't even finished running for <laughs> and getting all the delegates and all the caucuses and all the votes haven't been counted and all the delegates haven't even been decided yet. And yet they're trying to get you to talk about third party and get, take your eye off the ball and, you know, get him positioned for independent. Well, how about you get him positioned to win a brokered convention where hundreds of Ron Paul delegates do what they did in some of the other states, right, where you, you can see, right, vote fraud in Missouri and places where, like, the delegates, the, the Ron Paul people this time just not having it. Right, where they try to control the caucus, where they try to control, right, where the mass of the people there are Ron Paul people. How's that? They had police at your caucus in Missouri? They had police down there? Police helicopter and there are police already there on the scene? Hmm. And then they try to make laws where you can't film the police, so you can't f film the fraud. Right? If the police st come in there, then you can't... Oh, you see how it works? People are starting to figure it out. That's why they make these laws, so that you can't film. That's why they make these laws, so that you... you right? And then, they, of course, they get overturned, because First Amendment, but they know in the meantime... Right, just in time for this election, that right, we we can overturn all this stuff, but it won't matter for right now. It'll matter for the future. But see, there may not be a future <laughs> if they have their way. That's dramatic, but you know what I mean. That that by the time that we we uh, get this all taken care of and get these unconstitutional laws overturned, uh, the next election will already been decided. Is the point? Okay, so. You need to get out there, authenticate, and verify as much as you can. Bring your video cameras and put the stuff out there because people are seen now. It's becoming blatantly obvious to even the most brain-dead sheep out there that there's something to miss. There's something awry. That Ron Paul's getting 4,000 people and they're not even covering it on the news. And they won't even, I mean, that they, they, you know, they, 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 what happens today, they're going to look around at the newspapers and at the uh, articles that you see on the internet, and you won't even see pictures of Ron Paul, <laughs> right? Okay, so why is he blacked out? Oh, well, let's take a look at what's happening in world events uh, with, uh, you know, Russian troops going into Syria. 
and uh, the whole Coney thing where they were trying to get people, you know, to do their work for them to get us to, you know, send troops into Africa for resources. It's about the resources. Again, guys, good and evil, you know, Christian Muslim, it's about the resources and the money and dollar hegemony. Never forget it's all about the money. The bottom line is that fiat currencies never end well. It never, it always ends badly. And what's going to happen now where every country is on the fiat currency system and they're all printing like crazy, it's going to end very, very badly. So you need to be prepared. Dmitry Orlov, find out about that guy. Dmitry Orlov, look him up. He documented what happened to follow the Soviet Union, and he sees the parallels between the United States and them, and he was there firsthand. Uh, take a look at what's going on when it comes to them ignoring the Federal Reserve, and that every guy that, that interviews Ron Paul, guy or girl, woman or man that interviews Ron Paul, they're all on the side of the Federal Reserve, you notice? They all talk about how the Federal Reserve has, you know, preserved the currency and has, you know, made this crisis go away. And No, that's a, lies, lies, and more lies. Stories, stories, and more stories. Sometimes they're not even lies, they're just telling you stories. Trying to keep you mollified and pacified. Trying to keep you ignorant. Right? The whole story, it, keeping you, great Santorum is great for the story because it scares the shit out of the Democrats. It scares the shit out of the Democratic women that a guy like Santorum would even be considered. But take a look at how many people have actually voted for Santorum. Add it up. Do some math. And then you, as a percentage of 300 million Americans, how many people is that? Barely any. There's not a lot of Americans that believe the way that guy believes or thinks the way that that guy thinks. Right? And now that he's get, going after porn, that guy has no chance at all. Right? Porn is so pervasive in our society. He has no, the guy has no chance, but they keep him in there to keep you divided. Then they can tell, and then they'll tell you stories about Occupy Wall Street and how these guys are masturbating and fornicating and, and you know, pooping in public and just being disrespectful, and those guys are just hippies. And they don't know what they want, and they don't have any organization, and they're just silly. Right? No, they, they understand one thing, is that the bankers have been at war with the United States since day one. And many of these people, like, you see the libraries that they were putting together? that, of course, the, the powers that be destroyed, right, where they were actually sharing information and sharing books and getting people educated on the Federal Reserve and money and corporatism, right, because it's not capitalism that we have a problem with. Capitalism made this country great. Capitalism made the biggest middle class ever, took the most people out of poverty ever, did more than any government will ever do for getting people to be able to feed themselves and take care of themselves, being in a capitalist society. But then we had corporatism come over and squish that. So, I mean, like, you can't even get a taxi cab license. You can't do anything to bring your, right, to become, a, you know, an entrepreneur and an individual that can start up a business and start making money without having to pay, you know, fees for licenses or permits or whatever. All right, what we have now is corporate governance. And the, the corporations that we're talking about are not corporations that make golf balls, you boneheads, right? <laughs> or corporations that make fast food. We're talking about the corporation, although those guys, you know, feed the, the Monsanto beast, but that's a whole other issue. The main problem is the bankers, the corporations that issue mortgages, the corporations that issue the currency, the one corporation that issues the currency for us and then loans it to us at, at interest. Those are the corporations that we're talking about. Those are the corporations that, you know, own the military industrial complex and the media. And th this is the problem, my friends. And who's talking about that? Ron Paul. Who's talking about reigning in these corporations? Ron Paul. Right? And, they, and so they'll try to paint him like, oh, he'll deregulate. So that the Democrats will be like, oh, we need regulation. We need no, he's talking about, you know, holding these guys accountable, especially the bankers. Now, it's racist? Wait a minute. Ron Paul was talking about the drug war being a racist, you know, Jim Crow war long, long ago. There's, you know, you can see him in the 90s talking about the drug war. Okay, so of course he's a racist because he wants to let out the people that are... Anyway, who's most affected by that? Minorities. And he wants to give these guys back their voting rights and, you know, give them immunity and give, you know, pardons and so forth and get them out of jail, get them back to being productive. Individual liberty, it's Ron Paul. War over there, Syria and, and uh, Iran... Russia and China have both said that you guys mess with these guys, you're messing with us. And R Russia just put troops into uh, Syria. And you guys are talking about birth control? Ron Paul is all about birth control. The reason why you can't afford your birth control is because of the Federal Reserve. 
inflating our currency to the point where it's worth nothing. But see, your, your wages and jobs and your, your ability to get paid has not kept up with the inflation. So you can't even afford your birth control. That's the main issue. It doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight, whether you're a woman or a man, all of you use the currency. The currency is the main issue. The currency is what funds these wars, funds the drug wars, f all of this. So who's talking about the currency and the Federal Reserve? Ron Paul and no other. The other guys pay it some lip service, but Ron Paul is the only guy. Okay, so of course they're going to do everything they can to denigrate Ron Paul. So this is why many people are starting to see through. And again, I can't stress enough how great it is that this whole fraud thing is... is absolutely all over the internet, but it's nowhere on the mainstream media, Ooh. that the whole concept of uh, Ron Paul's popularity, it's all over the internet, and it needs to be even more on the internet, and you need to help, you need to put that everywhere, so that anybody can find it, anybody can access it, and at any time, it's easy to find, you know, a crowd of 5,000 people cheering for Ron Paul, because the mainstream media not covering this, and so now the disconnect becomes clear, and the dissonance is broken, and people wake up and go, wait a minute, that's the job that you need to do. And you can do that without even leaving your house, right? Internet activism. Now, you guys want to get out there and wave signs for Ron Paul? Bring your camera along. You guys want to get out there and cheer for Ron Paul? Bring your camera along and then post it. Document the fraud. Make sure everybody sees what's going on. Because they're going to call you crazy. Because when you first wake up, when you're the first one to see it, everybody calls you nuts. But then now it's not like before where you just, you know, you, it's your word against theirs. Now you can get your phone out. Now you can get your, you know, laptop and pop it open and say, look at this. And it's clear. And there's no wiggle room. See? It's a great thing. Because the mainstream media is losing its credibility day after day. They've lost their credibility with the Ron Paul supporters, they've completely lost their, their credibility now. But it's more and more, they're losing it. And they're losing their grip, because that's the power, that's the media, the media was the, uh, the main way they wielded their divide and conquer strategy upon the people. And it's all collapsing now. The whole one world government, the whole one currency, the whole, I mean, the, be exposing the frauds, exposing these things that are not conspiracy. People are starting to wake up to the fact that genocide was on the agenda. Getting rid of quite a few humans was on the agenda. Right? People are starting to figure out the whole, I mean, this, that it's lie after lie. It's story after story. And people, folks is folks. We don't want war. The Iranians don't want war. We don't want war. The Israelis don't want war. And yet they're trying to foist this war upon us. And people are starting to wake up to that fact. Who's talking about stopping the war? Ron Paul. So of course, of course the military industrial complex and the, you know, the medical industrial complex and the corporate complex that stems from the Federal Reserve and the bankers is unhappy with this. And it's a very small amount of men that have selected our president year after year after year. And it's a very small amount of people that are trying to keep Ron Paul from, from making any kind of headway at all. And Ron Paul understands the opportunity for greatness that is being presented and laid at his feet whether he likes it or not, right? The idea is not to just become president, it's to change the course of history. So whether he becomes president or not, whatever happens, the movement continues. But up until such time as we get past that point, you know, then we can start looking at other options. But we haven't even gotten to the point where we've selected all the delegates yet. You guys are getting ahead of the game. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. Right? Like I said, we all niggas now, guys. Right? you got to work twice as hard to get half as many votes. Or you will you know, get out there and they won't even count your vote. Right? The black community is well acquainted with what's going on. Ron Paul supporters are just, you know, just now facing the beast. And now you guys get to tell everybody else. Right? Look at it as an opportunity. Get out there and tell the story. Get out there and do your job. Ron Paul's job is to campaign. Our job is to, to authenticate and verify and prosecute the fraud. That's not Ron Paul's job. And it's us that's going to make the difference. You want your country back? Don't just go vote every two years. You want your country back? You need to get politically involved. You need to take action. You need to get motivated. It's self-governance, and self-governance ain't easy. And our experiment in self-governance went a little bit awry, but we're taking it back, guys. 
Thanks for all your support. Mathematics. I could go on another 15 minutes about mathematics. They, they couldn't get away with what they're getting away with the more people understood statistics and mathematics. That's why Crouton Ramon's House of Math. Thanks for going there. And, of course, the uh, uh, nuclear hubris. Check that out. Check out all my links. Ron Paul, 2012. Thanks for your support.